be allowed to have families. You gotta get your shit together. Time is passing by very quickly. Why do you think I smoke weed all the time? So I could slow it down. everybody to the hump day show <laughs> we are the three-way podcast uh, i am your host los with the most aka public enemy 59 and behind the magic of it all we got eli aka grx for up? and today we are reviewing uh the king of staten island oh so man there are there are going to be major spoilers. We're going to talk about it all. Um, so if you haven't seen it, go catch it. It's on demand. It's the only way to see it. <laughs> we had a we had a pay up. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go into spoilers. So if you haven't seen it, go catch it. Uh, we're gonna start off with the things we didn't like, the negatives. All right, just uh, let me do a quick rundown. Uh, the King of Satin Island, starring Pete Davidson, and also starring Marissa Tomei as his mommy. Why is she everybody's mom, dude, or aunt? And, of course, we got Bill Burr in it. Um, there was also some other supporting cast members. Uh, I, 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 Moses Aries. Aries? Uh, like, he's super short, but the only reason I recognize him is because he was also on Ender's Game. But that's neither here or there, but again... This is directed by Judd Apatow. I didn't even realize that until the end. I was like, wait, he directed this shit? I'm like, mm. okay, this this seems like a Judd Apatow type of movie. But anyways, let's jump into it. What did you not like? Uh, I, I mean, I'm fairly positive on this movie. Uh, I, 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 I did like it. Mm-hmm. The, the negatives for me, I mean... <laughs> some of the some of the jokes I guess didn't land but for the most part I think the movie was funny well this movie had uh, a lot of dark humor I mean th- that's whole exactly. that's, that's the whole Pete Davidson stick is that he lives on dark humor and the other thing about this movie too like it, it was like he I, I was watching like some interviews of him like of this film and like this is his first like feature film and also like he co-wrote it with Judd Apatow and it's like very reminiscent of his real life because his dad was pretty yeah. much like it was right, a right along with him just like and, the character he was playing like and, his, and died yeah. in 9 11. yeah he was one of the first responders um, uh he was a firefighter and he he passed away at, on 9 11 yeah but in this story he didn't he didn't die like that his di- dad in the story didn't die like that he just died uh yeah. in, a, in, a, in another type of fire yeah, and so in the movie, this affects him greatly. Yeah, you know, his dad passed in the movie. His dad passed away when he was seven. I don't know if that in real life that's the age where his dad passed away, but uh, uh, I imagine it is. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, in the movie, he grew up. You know, a lot of uh, mental uh, problems and couldn't get his shit together, and it's just kind of like his story about how he tries to get his shit together. Um, yeah. For the most part, I liked it, man. I I thought a lot of the yeah. dark humor, like you said, I thought it hit. The, for me, the biggest negative, and I'm just going to go straight into it, yeah. was how it ended. Um, oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. My girlfriend didn't like that either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hanging. There's no, like, yeah, you could, okay, I guess I can imagine. I mean, it is his story, so I guess in the end he becomes a fucking actor and whatever. But that's not really the trajectory this guy's taking. And in the story, in the movie, and I kind of wanted to see some final resolution, like some good resolution. It did kind of give us a little bit of that, but not really. So I was kind of like left hanging at the end of the movie, I feel like. And mm-hmm. and that's where I'm, uh, that to me was my biggest beef with the movie, because I liked everything else. But then when it just like rose credits, and I'm like, what? Hold on. Like... <laughs> Yeah, what, like, do you, what happened? What do you uh, do? What, I, I, I kind of feel know? the same thing. I'm in the same boat with you. The ending was kind of just kind of abrupt. 
um it's like we we, we kind of want to continue the story to see what happens even though it was yeah. a long movie we're it really, talking it really was two hours uh, I, because like half of the movie is him like uh screwing up his life and then like hitting rock bottom by getting kicked out of his mom's and then the next half it's him like moving into the firehouse with the mom's boyfriend and like pretty much learning how to like get ish ish together and the the movie for me i i did like it overall but it was it wasn't really like i, I think i'm gonna need to see him in another film because it, it was too much of him just being himself that's what it felt like like yeah, it was, it was and- just him like it, it it's like it's pretty easy to play yourself like <laughs> you know what i mean so I, yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah. I, like, as far as like acting it was okay it was decent it was good um i i i did kind of like understand too the little like like love interest that he had where he was like i kind of don't want to like i like you but i don't want to really put it out there kind of thing he seemed like very typical guyish type of thing but then like later on you kind of find out like he he just feels like he has too many like mental issues and he doesn't want to put that on her. So I was like, okay, I, I kind of get that too. But the film, I mean, the film was good. Uh, one thing I did not like for sure though was fucking Bill Burr's mustache. That shit was so distracting. Every what? time, every time he was on screen, he had that huge caterpillar on his face. I was like, why, dude? Why did they give really, a, mustache, a mustache like that? I really like Bill <laughs> Burr in this movie. Yeah, he was good I, I too. Yes, he embodied that character already as is, and uh, it's what just like uh, Davidson. Uh, he's kind of just playing himself, probably mm-hmm. just a more a little bit nicer version of himself. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I really like Bill Burr, Mar- Marissa Tomei. I like the. His his friends. Yeah, uh, his I love the friends, love yeah. interest. I love the little kid actors that he was oh, with. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Bill Burr's kids in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. So, just the supporting cast <laughs> I thought was really strong. Yeah. It, even if you didn't really like Davidson's performance, which I did, uh, like the charm of the rest of the characters kind of mm-hmm. just made you, uh, you know like laugh at the movie it made you care about the movie um mm-hmm. so i thought the supporting cast is really good yeah I, 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 I thought so too um i also liked the, the character that marissa tomei was playing like was his mom and that he had a sister and like in the beginning of the movie his sister like graduating from high school and going to college and he, he, she was she was kind of unexpectedly a little bit more i want to say like like apathetic to how he is because she she mentions like the dad and she's like you know you got to know him i never Mm -hmm. i don't even remember him and Mm -hmm. he was like no you're lucky you don't remember him you're lucky you don't remember like you know you know why your dad never came home and why his friends are coming over and he wasn't kind of thing he was talking about um i did like that aspect of that movie of the movie i i i I thought they were going to take it in a whole different direction but it did feel like real, you know what I mean? Like she actually, yeah. like she loves her brother, even yeah. though he's a huge screw up and a fuck up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you, you, you hate them at this at one point. Yeah, and that's you know sibling, siblings, and yeah. then you, of course, you love them because mm-hmm. uh, they're your siblings. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't just like she was a total bitch all the time. No, <laughs> uh, she had her bitch moments, but you know he's an asshole as well. Oh, and he's then a fucking she was asshole. Really yeah. She was really cool at other moments, and yeah, so just the back and forth between a lot of the him and not only his sister in the movie, but a, a lot of the characters was really cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, the so I mean, what, what was your favorite part, or some of your favorite parts? Uh, when he fucking tattoos the little kid. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was that like, is what? so good. The other guy's like, "Don't do it. Run. Don't do it. No, it's just yeah. a bad idea. Don't do it. You're about to tattoo a little kid in the forest, in the woods. Don't do it." <laughs> yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. That was pretty uh funny to see. And then I like, I like how Bill Burr, like, you know, he was the he was the father of that kid, and that's how he meets the mom in the movie. And it, it was funny, like seeing that interaction. Like, are you fucking stupid? Like, did you? Like, you think it's okay? He said he was 18. I think he was giving me consent. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> He's nine, you know? Nah, yeah I, thought, yeah. I thought that was a great moment in the movie. Yeah, that was I, a good part. Yeah, I, I, there was a lot of parts in this movie I did like. I like the the little, uh, whenever they're kind of like, 
kind of like it felt kind of like a frat house where they were like kind of like initiating like Pete Davidson's character in the firehouse where he had all the firemen and everything like kind of like and firewomen like helping uh, like like kind of like making fun of him or like yeah you know pulling pranks on him that's what it was yeah that that was yeah one, for sure one of my favorite parts him kind of being in that place where his dad you know was also kind of like a big part of his dad's life and so being in that kind of same atmosphere i thought was really cool yeah because like, for up, him up until that moment he he hated firemen he hated yeah the idea of even becoming a firefighter himself because of what happened with his dad like he has this whole issue where like Oh, you want to be a firefighter and, and like you're going to end up having that one moment when you don't go home to your family and shit. And he, you know, that really dwelled on him. But like once he understood like that, that, that family relationship they had, those firefighters had, like, you know, he, he kind of understood it. But I, I did like too that they didn't like kind of like force him into becoming a firefighter too. Like he had his whole thing where he wanted to be a tattoo artist and like open up a restaurant where you get a tattoo and food. I'm like, that's kind of weird, but okay. <laughs> yeah, but what did you like, dude? Um, yeah, the the beach scene where they're at the beach, of course. I like the oh yeah the the him being in the fire department. Uh, them drinking at the bar. You know, after he gets cool with like oh, uh, yeah. the chief and all that, so that was tight. Um, I like the part where his mom and and his aunt are like making fun of him. <laughs> oh, and, and like she locks him out of the house. He's trying to yeah. This is after like she kicks uh her, her son out and she kind of like kicks out the the boyfriend too because it turns out like like leading up to that moment like Pete hated him. His name in in the in you know it was Bill Burr's character named Ray. He hated Ray. He was like. I want him out of the house. He's ruining this. You know, he's forcing my mom to kick me out. And like, so he goes like, at first, actually, I thought he was going to bang like the ex-wife. And like, so he goes like to the ex-wife's house and he like, hey, what are you doing? Can I, you want to get high? They're drinking wine. I'm like, oh shit. She's about yeah, to Yeah, I off. thought like, oh, <laughs> about, what's about to happen here? Yeah, but no, it turns out like he was there to get information about uh, Ray and he tells his mom. And then Ray finds out, Ray goes out to find Pete, Davidson's character, Scott, and like he kind of like, kind of like wrestles him, talk, talk shit to him, and yeah, throws him in the pool. Well. And then anyways, he gets, him and, and the other guy get kicked out because it turns out Ray's character, like he, he doesn't have money, uh, he he's living in the, in the firehouse, so like, Scott feels like, oh, this guy is trying to move into my mom's house and kick me out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he's like mm -hmm. a bad guy. But of course, we find out like a little bit different stuff happens and why, you know, you don't really sense that's the reason reason why Ray is like trying to like push his mom to like get him out. Because, I mean, he's like, what, 25 in the movie or 24, I believe. Yeah, tw like 23, 24. And that's one thing that, that kind of, OK, like, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I wasn't the most responsible mo motherfucker at 23, <laughs> 24, yeah. right? There were there were times in there where I I was you know not working. I wasn't I was jobless, so to be kicked out, man, that would have been crazy. So uh, I could just imagine him. I mean, okay, yeah, he, he was probably not in the best part of his life, but damn, to get kicked out, yeah. you know, when you're trying to like. Okay, I was like, that's a little harsh, but no, yeah, I kind of felt that too, cause I think I, I didn't move out of my mom's until like I was twenty five and got my own apartment, and yeah, I was I was a little higher than that. <laughs> <laughs> so but I I kind of felt that though, like there's, uh, the that that moment I kind of was like, man, you kind of have to do that, you know, at, at some yeah, point or another. It wasn't gotta, really the fact that he yeah. was living there; it was more the fact that he wasn't doing shit with his life. Yeah, like so you kind of okay, have to like and push that, him, and uh, yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah. time to learn how to sink or swim. You know what I mean? So like, I kind of get that. So I was kind of like, damn, that's that was harsh. But then I was like, I understand. But then when he came back and tried to move back in, that's a fucking asshole move. She was, oh man, it was. She crazy. was just laughing at his face. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> straight up. Yeah. Nah, and then uh, I think uh, the just his scenes with the girl, like uh, like I forget her name, but she was I think she was really charming. She bounced off of him real, real well. Mm -hmm. The fact that she even like so 
like was dealing with his ass in itself was like okay um but yeah i, I like their kind of back and forth the, you know, she tries to bring a guy to try to get his ass jealous and shit to his, like the place where he works. Like, yeah. Oh, and yeah. then the ending, I thought that was really sweet. How he was like, you know, straight up, like, I love you. Like, da da da. Like, I thought that was that was cool. And I guess, yeah, that's a nice ending to the movie. But like I said, I wish it would have been something else. Like, hey, yeah. show me where he goes on that day in New York City. Where the hell did he go? You know, so. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I get it. But uh, I don't know. You want to close it out? What, what do you want to rate this movie? Um, it's a tough one, man. Because uh, <laughs> it's like, would I watch it again? I don't know. You know what? That's funny that you say that because I thought the same shit. I was like, w- would I watch this movie again? And I was like, yeah. I probably will, but not anytime soon. Like, I would have exactly. to. Exactly. It would have to get it to was... a moment where I'm like, I'm forgetting what happens. Yes, yes. <laughs> like, well, you know, there's those movies that like. Okay, Goodfellas comes on. Okay, let me watch it again. Uh, you know, freaking Harry Potter comes on. Let me watch that again. You know, Star Wars comes on. Let me watch that again. So there's no certain movies. Avengers comes on. Let me watch it. Iron Man. You know, like certain <laughs> movies where you're like, okay, let me just watch it. Uh, you know, screw it. Let me. It's on. Let me watch it. I yeah. don't mind watching it. This movie, if it came on, would I? I feel like I would flip the channel. Like you said, I would. I would kind of be a year or two before i watch it again (laughs) i wouldn't necessarily buy it so i don't want to put it in like top tier level yeah i think i'm gonna put it like right there like 7.4 7.4 that's my score out of 10 out of 10 all right well i'm I'm giving it a solid 7 out of 10 it it was it was a good watch it was interesting to watch it it's definitely like i said the his acting is i mean it, it, it's barely acting because i feel like he literally was just playing himself yeah. so it it was good in the way like it was believable you know mm-hmm. um the movie had a lot more heart than i would like imagine it would um, it's just uh, apatow, yeah, apatow, right? apatow yeah yeah judd apatow yeah yeah he's the heart and you know davidson was the funny and it worked well it worked well yeah it was a good combo um, but yeah, seven out of ten would recommend. <laughs> Good. Well, all right, guys, that's our review. Tell us if you watched it. If you don't care for watching this movie, comment, like, subscribe, share. You can find us anywhere: Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube. Uh, please let your friends know. Tell us what you think about the movie. If you've seen it, are you even? Or are you not gonna watch it? You're not gonna pay no twenty dollars. <laughs> uh, but uh, so let us know. Support your artists, support the movies, you you know, that unfortunately can't come out now in the theaters. But uh, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate y'all. Thank you. Peace. Bye-bye.